This is the GE General Education breadth requirements for all California State Universities. This includes Cal State East Bay, San Francisco State, and San, Fr San Jose State University. In this video tutorial, I'm using the uh, edition from 2011-2012 academic year. Please make sure for your own reference that you're always referring to the most current copy, meaning this academic year. So from your copy, make sure that you're going to be completing uh, area A1, oral communications, one course from speech one or 46. You can choose one class. In section A2, written communications, you're going to complete English 1A. And then for area A3, critical thinking, you're going to complete one of these classes. My, I would recommend completing English um, 4 or 7. You're going to complete these three classes, minimum of nine units, and must be completed with a grade of C or better. In area B, for scientific inquiry, you're going to be completing one course from, for physical science, one course for life science, and just one lab, either physical science or life science. So for example, you might decide to complete uh, geology, uh, 12 and 12L. That will satisfy your B1 and B3 and so for your life science all you need to do is complete for example Anthro 1, just a lecture, or Ecology 10, or Biology 20, or Psych 4, just a lecture. Okay then for section B4, math, you're just going to complete one of the math classes listed here. Then for Arts and Humanities, Area C, you're going to complete three courses from below, minimum of nine units. So you're going to complete at least one course from this arts list, any one course. The one course from humanities, meaning from this list. And then the last class, meaning coming from either the arts list or the humanities list, for a total of three. In area D for social sciences, you're going to complete three units from below, minimum of nine units, from at least two different subject areas. So, for example, you cannot take all three classes coming from the history section because that's not allowed. So, for example, you could complete history seven and eight and your third class can come from any of the other D areas. Then we're just going to continue on to the back page of this. Oops. For area E, lifelong learning, you're going to complete three units from below. For example, you can complete health one or two. Um, if you are interested in taking a PE class, that's perfectly fine, but please be aware that there's a limit, a maximum of two PE units coming from PE classes. So you might as well just take one course and satisfy this requirement. Then for American institutions requirements, uh, you're going to complete one of the groups below, meaning you're going to complete group one or group two. And this is a requirement for graduation from any CSU, but they strongly recommend that if you have the time and space in your schedule to complete it at a community college. This one, you can actually be used to satisfy both your American institutions as well as the general er GE breadth requirements in Area D. So for a course to meet the GE requirement, the class must be on the GE list during the academic year that it was taken. Um, the GE pattern is not an admissions requirement, but it's strongly advised, it's re re strongly recommended. And when you are in your last semester here at Las Positas College and you know the transfer institution that you're going to for sure attend, you're going to request the GE certification from the Admissions and Records Office. So you're going to be sending it to that one school. Um, directly to that one school.